An empty room with a light switching on and off. A blue canvas with a white line down the middle. A urinal. People running around in a circle with their fingers up each other's butts. This masterpiece. An unmade bed. Yoko Ono screaming like a demented bitch. <coughs> Modern art, or conceptual art, isn't art at all. It's one big circle jerk of pretentious twats trying to make themselves look sophisticated by ascribing meaning to something that's completely meaningless. Listen, there is good modern art, and there are many skilled modern artists. So why is it usually the most talentless, vacuous shit that gets promoted and funded by the art establishment? Well, it's partly born out of elitism. If the artistic merit of a bunch of squiggly lines can only be appreciated by a select number of privileged insiders, they can then sneer at the uninitiated and justify their own intellectual superiority. When you see someone intently staring at a Jackson Pollock-style vomit canvas, they're not really trying to ascertain its deeper meaning. It's all just an act to prove to the other pompous wankers that they're part of the same cult of aesthetic relativism. While sneering at the Philistine general public who just don't get it, despite the fact that there's nothing to get. Here's a test I give my graduate students, all talented and well-educated. Please analyze this Jackson Pollock painting and explain why it is good. It is only after they give very eloquent answers that I inform them that the painting is actually a close-up of my studio apron. Modern art snobs explain to us the genius of someone like Matisse by claiming that the invention of photography made it necessary for artists to be more imaginative and less realist. Bullshit. Ron Muek produces the most hyper-realist works that the art world has ever seen. Yet it's Matisse who is embraced by the art establishment, while to a large extent, Muek is shunned. So again, it goes back to elitism. The general public loves Muek because he's massively talented and his works are stunning. But the snooty art establishment loves Matisse because they can pretend to be intellectually superior to the general public by waffling on about the pathos and the intricacy of a bunch of coloured squares. Modern art is literally rubbish. From a polystyrene sculpture to a bag of waste paper, so-called works of art keep being thrown out because people mistake them for garbage. When it becomes impossible to tell the difference between conceptual art and trash, then we know we've crossed the line. It ceases to be bold, provocative and daring and simply becomes a worthless piece of crap. I had my own experience of this when I visited a modern art museum in Lucerne, Switzerland, appropriately named the Kunst Museum. Seeking respite from an onslaught of modern art, you know, a leather jacket spray painted and stuck to the wall, a tape recorder of a man whining about how much he hated his parents, I found somewhere to sit down, only to be sternly told I was sitting on a work of art. A wicker chair painted orange. Seriously, how long before this CBC parody becomes real and we have people claiming to have created invisible art? It comes down to this. We have to maintain objective standards of quality and talent in order to discern the value of anything. Do you see musicians playing random notes and chords or vocalists singing out of tune and demanding they be taken seriously. Yeah, I'm not talking about Yoko. Do you see figure skaters falling over and demanding that they be given high scores? We rightly ask that the artist has perfected his craft. Piling up pieces of dung and straw on a cheap top doesn't take skill or craft. It took Michelangelo three years to carve his iconic David out of a rock. It took considerably less time and skill for the LA County Museum of Art to provide us with a rock. Yes, that's it. A 340 ton rock. And the money that they waste on this shite 
10 million dollars for a frigging rock. Half a million dollars for a lamp post ring in Calgary. That's the gross thing, is that tax dollars go to support this. They have one exhibit that's all junk. It's called junk. That's like part of the name of the exhibit. And you go there, it's like bottle caps that are glued to like a cork board. Like, you fucks. You motherfuckers, you, you put this on a frame and, and hung it on the wall, and you actually are charging people to see this? Dog shit. I mean, just total dog shit. Conceptual art also reflects trends in society, culture, and politics. This is what happens when lefty social justice warriors and cultural Marxists seize control of something and ruin it for everyone else. No wonder gamers are so terrified of them subverting the video games industry. Conceptual art is another front in the war on objectivism. It's this ridiculous idea that something has merit and authenticity based on the flimsiest subjective pretense. Just as a 52 year old man can identify as a 6 year old girl and demand that society embrace his delusion, the art world presents us with 90 tin cans filled with feces and demands that we treat it with reverence. Well, I'm not going to treat it with reverence. I'm going to objectively argue that it's 90 pieces of shit and it's not art. Oh, but it's so shocking and offensive to submerge Jesus in piss. How provocative. No, it's not. It's just a lame cliche. If you really want to be offensive, why don't you start drawing life-size cartoons of Muhammad? Why don't you pickle the prophet in piss? Oh, but that's politically incorrect. The gravy train of government grants would soon come to a grinding halt. So what happens when people within the art world speak out about the vacuousness of modern art? Well, they get publicly shamed and fired. Ivan Massow, the chairman of the Institute of Contemporary Art, was dismissed when he dared to suggest that the art establishment had, quote, disappeared up its own arse. Massow described conceptual art as, quote, pretentious, self-indulgent, craftless tat that I wouldn't accept even as a gift. And he's completely right. But to utter that the emperor has no clothes is to threaten the very existence of the art establishment. Thankfully, fewer and fewer people are interested in modern art. Although tourism is increasing, attendances at modern art museums are dropping, while more people are attending traditional art museums. There's also a huge backlash against conceptual art, led by groups like the Stuckists, and the Art Renewal Center. Both of which are, of course, under constant attack from the art establishment. New York artist Lisa Levy is protesting against modern art by sitting on a toilet for two days. If she was British, the Turner Prize people would be falling over themselves to give her their annual award. Conceptual art is shit. It doesn't enrich our culture. It degrades and cheapens society by exalting the vulgar, the crass, and the scatological. And the people promoting it are preventing us from enjoying modern art, produced by artists with actual talent. Those people are contemptible, regressive twats who should be ostracized, shamed, and left alone to play with each other's poo while genuflecting over its artistic brilliance.